Is your child having a difficult time understanding or using language? Are those difficulties causing frustration, challenging behaviors, or anxiety? If so, a visual schedule may be able to help. What is a visual schedule? A visual schedule shows what is going to happen throughout the day or during an activity with multiple steps. A visual schedule can be made with photos, drawings, objects, written words, apps on your phone, or lists. Why might a visual schedule be helpful? Communicating a message both verbally and visually can help increase understanding and clarify expectations. For children who often have a difficult time focusing on tasks, a visual schedule can also help them pay attention to important details of an activity. If they experience anxiety, rigidity, or irritability around unfamiliar situations or transitions between tasks, visual schedules can help by indicating when a certain activity will occur in a way that feels more predictable. How do I create an effective visual schedule for my child? First, decide the activities that you will put on the schedule in an order in which they should occur. Try to mix in the preferred activities with less preferred ones. The schedule can be portable, for example, on a binder, clipboard, or an app on your phone. Or it can be fixed to a permanent place, like a refrigerator or a wall. There should also be some way to show when an activity is completed, such as an all done pocket at the bottom of the schedule, or by physically checking off a task in the task box. Let's take a look at a visual schedule in action. Andrew needed help completing activities after school and had a hard time transitioning between different tasks. I really don't like, Mama, I don't know all the words in it. That's all right, I can help you. His mother created a visual schedule with drawings of each activity on a Velcro board. The schedule was portable so they could take it along throughout the routine. She also made sure to put a combination of enjoyable and not so enjoyable activities on the schedule. To more easily teach Andrew what the visual schedule was, Mom first used it during tasks that he usually completed willingly and successfully, like dinner and playtime. In order to give him time to decompress after a long day at school, his mom started the schedule with playtime, which was easy and fun. All right, buddy, here's what we're gonna do this afternoon. Play, snack, homework, bath, and dinner, okay? First, we're gonna go out and play. Okay, Andrew, now it's time for snack. Okay. Here we go. Because this was a more neutral activity for him, the transition from snack to homework was easier than the transition from playtime to homework would be. Yeah. All right, Andrew, now it's time to do our homework. Homework can be hard for him, so she followed up this task with bath, which was a calming activity for him. It's bath time, and we already did homework. It's bath time. Great job, bud. This was also to help provide motivation to complete homework in a timely manner. She finished the schedule with dinner time, which he enjoys. When using a schedule, his mom gave a verbal cue before each transition. All right, Andrew, two more minutes. We're gonna go inside, okay? Okay, mama. And used a timer to help him know when certain tasks were going to be over. When it was time for an activity on the schedule to occur, she cued him with a brief verbal instruction to help him understand that it was time to transition and pay attention as the next activity begins. All right, Andrew, we're all done homework. Check schedule. Bath time. You got it, good job, buddy. At first, he needs prompting to use the schedule. Hi, so mom guides his hand so he can move the pictures right, once he has completed the activity. All done, can you take this off? Good, now we're gonna go in for snack and calmly guides him to the next activity if he does not do so on his own. All right, we're all done snack. Good, now it's time for homework. As he becomes more independent using the schedule throughout the day, right, she Andrew, praises him in a detailed way by saying, <gasps> Great, checking your schedule. A visual schedule can also be used to teach flexibility when sudden changes must occur. She added variability by introducing an oops card that represents an unknown. She began by teaching this paired with a positive activity, like getting ice cream as his snack. We're gonna have an ice cream party! 
and gradually used it to communicate true, unexpected changes in the schedule that may be tougher to adapt to, such as doctor's appointments. As your child gets older, a visual schedule is still important, but may look different. This young woman uses a written list on a dry erase board and independently marks them off as she completes each step in the routine. Creating a visual schedule can help decrease your child's anxiety, irritability, and challenging behaviors while increasing independence and success. Please check back in and leave us a comment to let us know how these changes are going.